John Ashton, a well-experienced actor known for his work in movies, TV, and theater, has made a lasting impression on the entertainment world. From playing Gomez Adams in The Adams Family to appearing in many other shows and movies, he has fans who love different parts of his work. What's your favorite performance of his? Besides his famous roles, there are interesting and little-known facts about his life and career that fans might find fascinating. Do you know any cool details about him? Share them below. We're interested in hearing your favorite memories or experiences involving John Aston. Your stories help paint a fuller picture of who he is. Whether they're funny, surprising, or touching, we want to hear them. Keep an eye out for more facts in this video. Share your stories and memories below. Imagine a world of laughter where every twist and turn brings a smile to your face. In this world, there's a man who mastered the art of comedy, bringing joy to millions through his talent and wit. He is best known for his role as Gomez Adams in the famous TV show The Adams Family. His portrayal of Gomez was captivating, making the character both eccentric and lovable. But his talents go beyond just The Adams Family. Throughout his career, he showed great versatility, entertaining audiences with both comedy and drama. Besides acting, he also teaches and mentors aspiring actors, sharing his passion for the craft with them. In summary, he is a fantastic actor whose work in comedy is loved by fans worldwide. His talent, versatility, and dedication to teaching make him a true entertainment icon. John Aston hails from a family deeply involved in acting, with three generations having worked alongside Christopher Lee. His son, Sean Aston, and granddaughter, Ollie Aston, appeared in The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. He and Lee shared the screen in Gremlins 2, The New Batch. He pursued his education at Washington and Jefferson College, then graduated from Johns Hopkins University. He continued his studies at the University of Minnesota. In his acting career, he took on various roles, including the judge in The Frighteners. Michael J. Fox, working with him, occasionally confused his character with Doc, the name of Christopher Lloyd's character in the Back to the Future trilogy. John Aston's family history in acting and his roles in different movies show his influence in the entertainment industry. John Aston, known for his portrayal of Gomez Adams in The Adams Family, revealed in a February 2019 interview that he and Carolyn Jones, who played Morticia Adams, shared a professional chemistry fueled by an initial attraction. Aston's character, Gomez, was originally nameless in Charles Adams' cartoons, but when the television series was being developed, Adams suggested naming him either Rapelli or Gomez. Aston made the final decision, choosing Gomez, and thus cementing the character's name. As of 2023, he is the longest living cast member of the Adams family, having surpassed even the two youngest cast members who played his children, Pugsley and Wednesday Adams. Ted Cassidy, who portrayed Lurch, lived the shortest, passing away in 1979 at age 46. John Aston, known for his iconic role as Gomez Adams in the Adams Family TV series, played TM. Christian in the film Candy, collaborating with director John Huston. Their families had connections through other projects. An interesting link is seen in the Adams Family films where Morticia, portrayed by Houston's daughter Angelica Houston, complimented Aston's Gomez. John Houston, the director, even lent his voice to Gandalf in TV adaptations of The Hobbit and The Return of the King. Sean Aston, John Aston's son, later played significant roles in the film adaptations. In Night Gallery, Aston took on the role of Jonathan across three episodes, meeting unfortunate ends in each, with two episodes depicting him in hell. Aston also directed three episodes of the series. Notably, he is the sole surviving cast member from the Adams Family series. He achieved recognition for his diverse roles and contributions to the entertainment industry. In the movie West Side Story, John Aston played the role of Glad Hand. The movie won the Best Picture Award. It's interesting that his son, Sean Aston, also appeared in another Best Picture winner, The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. Both movies got 11 Oscar nominations, with West Side Story winning 10 and The Return of the King winning all its nominations. It's also worth noting that The Return of the King is based on Romeo and Juliet, a movie in which Robert Stevens, who played Prince Aeschylus, later played Aragorn in the BBC radio drama of The Lord of the Rings. In Gremlins 2 The New Batch, John Aston took on the role of a janitor. His character tries to fix a broken water fountain in the movie. John Aston shares a family connection with Patty Duke. They have a son named Mackenzie Aston, and he adopted Duke's son, Sean Aston, when he was three years old. 
with Susan Hahn, John Aston has three sons, David Aston, Alan J. Aston, and Thomas E. Aston. Family connections and various roles in movies highlight John Aston's career in the entertainment industry. John Aston and his son Sean have both been part of Oscar-winning films, showcasing a special family bond in movies. He had a minor role in the musical West Side Story, which won Best Picture in the early 1960s. Decades later, Sean played a key role in the Lord of the Rings trilogy, another set of films that got the Best Picture award. This shows how both father and son have been part of top-notch movies over the years. John Aston is also well known for his deep connection with the Adams family. He first became famous as Gomez Adams in the original TV series from the mid-1960s. He played the same role in a TV special called Halloween with the new Adams family in the late 1970s and voiced the character in an animated version in the early 1990s. Later, he acted as the grandfather in the new Adams family in the late 1990s. He even made a cameo playing on his Gomez persona in the spoof film The Silence of the Hams in the mid-1990s. Through these roles, he became closely associated with the Adams family, appearing in different versions of it over the years. He is best remembered for playing Gomez Adams, a role that made him a beloved figure in American TV. This character has become closely linked with his career, overshadowing his other significant work in movies and TV. His performance brought to life the quirky, enthusiastic head of the Adams family, winning him fans and securing his place in TV history. In summary, John Aston's work in movies and TV, particularly in the Adams family, and his connection to award-winning films alongside his son Sean, has left a lasting mark. His career shows a dedication to bringing entertaining and memorable characters to the screen. John Aston, known for playing Gomez Adams in The Adams Family, holds a special place in the show's history. Following the sad passing of Lisa Loring on January 28, 2023, he remains the only surviving cast member from the series. In his role as Gomez Adams, he had a unique habit of putting lit cigars into his pocket. To keep things safe, the jackets he wore on set were lined with asbestos. Aside from The Adams Family, he also played the judge in The Frighteners. His stepson Sean Astin was inspired by John's experience working with director Peter Jackson and Fran Walsh on The Frighteners in 1996. This influenced Sean's decision to take on the role of Samwise Gamgee in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Overall, John Astin's work in The Adams Family and The Frighteners has made a lasting mark on entertainment. Being the last surviving member of The Adams Family cast adds a poignant touch to his legacy. John Aston started his academic journey with a scholarship in mathematics, which got him into Washington and Jefferson College. Later, he finished his studies at Johns Hopkins, focusing on drama. Interestingly, his father, Dr. Alan Varley Aston, was the fifth director of the National Bureau of Standards. In his acting career, he played a significant role as a special guest villain alongside several famous actors. Among them were five actors who won Oscars Ann Baxter, Cliff Robertson, George Sanders, Art Carney, and Shelley Winters. He also acted alongside eight actors who were nominated for Oscars Burgess Meredith, Victor Buono, Carolyn Jones, Glynis Johns, Terry Moore, Otto Preminger, Jack Crushen, and himself. These collaborations showed his involvement with notable figures in the entertainment industry. His experiences with both Oscar winners and nominees highlight the depth of his work in the field. His ability to share the stage with such esteemed actors further solidifies his presence in entertainment. In summary, his academic background in drama, coupled with his familial connection to the National Bureau of Standards, laid the groundwork for a career that saw him alongside noteworthy figures in the film industry. In that touch of mink, John Aston played Mr. Everett Beasley. In the movie, Connie mentions a Beasley at the unemployment office, talking about Everett Beasley. The term Beasley has different meanings. It can mean a glen or clearing or something desirable. However, the film added a new meaning with John Aston's character portraying a lecherous individual. On the Adams Family TV show, Thing was played by Ted Cassidy. When scenes needed both Cassidy and Thang, Jack Voglin, an associate director, stepped in for Thang. John Aston's family has a strong connection with director Peter Jackson. He appeared in The Frighteners while his son Sean Aston was in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. Sean's daughter, Ollie Aston, played his character's daughter in The Lord of the Rings, The Return of the King. In that touch of mink, John Aston played Mr. Everett Beasley. He also portrayed Lieutenant CMDR. 
Matt T. Sherman in the television adaptation of Operation Petticoat, a role originally played by Cary Grant in the movie from 59. He appeared as Buddy Ryan in Night Court, starting in 86, where he played Harry's stepfather, later revealed to be his biological father. Interestingly, this twist in the plot mirrored a real-life event for Sean Astin, who, at 14, discovered John wasn't his father just a year before the show aired. He's a big fan of Edgar Allan Poe and often attends Baltimore's Poe birthday celebrations. His diverse roles and love for Poe's work show his passion for both acting and literature. After Eartha Kitt passed away in 2008, he became the oldest surviving actor to play a major Batman villain, such as Catwoman, Joker, Penguin, and Riddler. He took on the role of the Riddler from Frank Gorshin in a two-part episode of the Batman TV series in 1966. Before starring as Lieutenant CMDR, Matthew Sherman in Operation Petticoat, he and Yvonne Wilder appeared in the movie West Side Story, where Wilder played one of Maria's friends, and he portrayed the neighborhood dance chaperone. Later in his career, he continued to appear in various TV shows and movies, establishing himself as an adaptable and long-lasting actor in the entertainment industry. His portrayal of the Riddler is well-remembered and cherished by fans of the Batman series. The depth and charm he brought to the character added a unique touch to the show's cast. His work in both television and film has left a lasting impression on popular culture, ensuring that he will be remembered for generations to come. This highlights his talent and ability, solidifying his place as one of Hollywood's most memorable actors. Mackenzie Aston first caught the producer's attention while visiting his father on set. This happened during his father's guest appearance filming for a show. Frank Gorshin missed an episode due to a contract dispute. John Aston filled in for him. Originally, the episode featured the villain The Puzzler as the Riddler. Gorshin later returned for one episode in the final season as the Riddler. During a speech at Booker High School in Sarasota, Florida, he shared that he has never watched any of the new Adams Family films. He didn't explain why. It was a surprising revelation from someone so closely associated with the Adams Family franchise. His presence and charisma seem to have been inherited by his son, who has been making waves in the industry. This familial connection adds an extra layer of interest to Mackenzie's growing career. The Aston family's influence continues to inspire new generations of actors and entertainers carrying forward a tradition of excellence in performance and storytelling. This anecdote sheds light on the inner workings of Hollywood where family ties and chance encounters can shape careers unexpectedly. Their contribution to the entertainment industry extends far beyond their own roles, leaving a lasting impression on those who have had the pleasure of working with them or being touched by their performances. The Aston name remains associated with talent, dedication, and a hint of mystery, a tradition that Mackenzie Aston seems poised to continue with grace and distinction. John Aston displayed his diverse talents in various roles throughout his career. In National Lampoon's European Vacation, he took on the character Kent Winkdale, the host of the game show Pig in a Poke. This character was a playful spoof of real-life game show hosts Wink Martindale and Richard Dawson. Martindale hosted the new Tic-Tac-Doe, while Dawson was known for kissing female contestants on Family Feud. In The Addams Family, Aston portrayed Gomez Adams, bringing a romantic flair to the character alongside Carolyn Jones, who played Morticia Adams. This was a departure from the norm at the time, where TV parents were typically portrayed as virtually asexual. In the movie That Touch of Mink, Aston played the role of Mr. Everett Beasley. Interestingly, Aston has outlived every other actor and extra from the film. Born on March 30, 1930, he remained active in his career even into his 90s, showcasing his enduring passion for acting. Aston's versatility and talent allowed him to infuse depth and charisma into each role, making him a beloved figure in the entertainment industry. His impact on film and television is still cherished by audiences worldwide. John Aston, famous for playing Gomez in The Addams Family, had a small but memorable role as a janitor in Gremlins to The New Batch. In a clever reference to his Addams Family character, when Gizmo sees him, he says Gomez. Aston and his wife Valerie are well-known members of a Buddhist group in Santa Monica, California. Interestingly, some actors who were in the Adams Family also appeared in Batman. This includes Carolyn Jones, Ted Cassidy, and Madge Blake. Madge Blake first appeared as Miss Comeback in Batman's first episode, but later played Aunt Harriet Cooper. This connection adds an extra layer to the crossover between the two popular shows. 
John Astin played Glad Hand in West Side Story, a role that connected him to a network of creative talents. Rita Moreno, a co-star, later worked with him on The Electric Company, a show known for its catchphrase, Hey, you guys, famously reused by Sloth and the Goonies. Interestingly, his son Sean Astin starred in The Goonies, a movie where Steven Spielberg, who directed the 2021 adaptation of West Side Story, was a co-executive producer and story creator. He also appeared as a janitor in Gremlins 2 The New Batch, sharing a cinematic universe with Sir Christopher Lee, who acted alongside his stepson Sean Astin and granddaughter Ali Astin in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. This connection highlights a unique familial link across different film generations. His father was the director of the Bureau of Standards in Washington, grounding his background in a significantly different field from the entertainment industry he would later thrive in. This contrast between his early life and his career path showcases a departure from a scientific background to create his own path in acting. John Astin has had a remarkable career in acting, showcasing his talents across various platforms. In West Side Story, he played the role of Glad Hand, originally portrayed by William Bramley on Broadway. The film adaptation sees Astin delivering a standout performance, with Bramley taking on a different character, being the sole original cast member to do so. In the beloved series The Addams Family, he brought Gomez Adams to life, opting for the name Gomez over Rapelli. The character's son was initially named Pubert, but was later changed to Pugsley due to concerns. Ronald L. Smith's, who's who in comedy documents Aston's achievements in comedy, shedding light on his influence in the entertainment industry. His versatility as an actor and his ability to embody diverse characters have made a lasting impression on audiences. John Aston remains the sole surviving member of the original cast of The Addams Family after Lisa Loring passed away on January 28, 2023. In Gremlins 2 The New Batch, he played a janitor. Interestingly, his stepson, Sean Aston, starred in The Goonies, a movie produced by Steven Spielberg. It's interesting to note that Gremlins also featured another actor from The Goonies, Corey Feldman, and was written by Chris Columbus. His involvement with Night Gallery included three episodes where his characters met their demise, with two winding up in hell. Additionally, he directed three episodes of the show. To sum up, his ties to the Addams Family, roles in Gremlins 2 and Gremlins and significant parts in Night Gallery highlight his diverse work in entertainment. John Aston, celebrated for his roles in West Side Story and the Addams Family series, displayed his versatility on screen. In the movie, he played Glad Hand, the recreational director. Interestingly, during a scene, Maria affectionately refers to Anita as Quirida, a term later used by Gomez Adams, Aston's character in the Adams Family series, for his wife Morticia. Moving from acting to academia, Aston joined Johns Hopkins University as a visiting professor, teaching acting and directing before becoming a full-time professor. His dedication led to the establishment of the theater arts minor and his appointment as head of the theater arts program. In 2011, the university surprised him by renaming the Hopkins Merrick Red Barn Theater in his honor during the reopening ceremony, attended by his son Sean and Mackenzie Aston, along with friend Ed Asner. Notably, Sean Aston, despite not being biologically related to John, was long believed to be his son until a paternity test in 1990 revealed otherwise. Sean is the son of ex-wife Patty Duke and her former husband Michael Tell. This revelation marked a significant moment in their family's history. From acting to academia, along with the surprises and challenges in his personal life, John Aston's journey adds depth to his story. He's famous for his role in the Adams Family TV show, and as of January 28, 2023, he's the only main cast member still alive. He's the grandfather of actresses Ollie Aston, Elizabeth Louise Aston, Isabella Louise Aston, Sedona Aston, and Jaya Aston. His brother, Alexander W. Aston, is a respected retired professor at UCL, a known for his research in higher education. Both have had a big influence in entertainment and academia, shaping stories and advancing knowledge. Through his acting and family connections, he shows the importance of his family name. He's made a lasting impact in both entertainment and academia. This story shows how influential he is. In Night Court, John Aston played Buddy Ryan and had a recurring role, while William Ute portrayed Phil Sanders. Both actors initially appeared as different characters before landing their recurring roles. In the Adams Family series, Aston portrayed Gomez Adams. 
Originally, executives wanted him to play the butler and built the show around that character. However, Aston had concerns about the challenges of portraying the butler, such as wearing stilts or lifts. After discussing his worries with Levy, the producer, Aston was offered the role of Gomez during a lunch meeting. He accepted, and the focus of the show shifted accordingly. John Aston and his wife Valerie have called the Tuscany Canterbury neighborhood in Baltimore, Maryland, their home since July 2007. He is well known for playing Mr. Everett Beasley in the classic film That Touch of Mink and had an uncredited role as Glad Hand, a compassionate social worker in the famous West Side Story in 1961. This marked his move from TV to the big screen. Apart from his cinematic work, Aston appeared alongside Jodie Foster in the Disney comedy Freaky Friday in 1976. One of his most beloved roles is Gomez Adams in the live-action sitcom The Adams Family, where he brought the eccentric patriarch to life. In the early 1970s, Jodie Foster voiced Pugsley Adams in an animated series, strengthening the connection between Aston and Foster in the world of entertainment. Their collaboration across various projects highlights their professional relationship and on-screen chemistry. With a career spanning decades, John Aston continues to be celebrated for his work, leaving a lasting impact on audiences with his talent and versatility. His influence as an actor is truly remarkable, appreciated by generations of fans worldwide. This narrative offers a glimpse into Aston's career, showcasing his versatility and lasting influence on the film and television industry. John Aston, known for his roles as a special guest villain on Batman, is among the few actors still alive from that era. He stands out alongside Julie Newmar, Joan Collins, Glynis Johns, and Barbara Rush, notable for being the only male among them. Currently, he works as a visiting theater professor at Johns Hopkins University. Teaching at the Old Barn, previously used by Theater Hopkins, a well-known community theater group, he shares his vast knowledge and experience with budding talents. His performances in our town and his portrayal of Edgar Allan Poe earned him praise, solidifying his reputation as a skilled actor. Aside from his work on stage and screen, he plays a significant role as a mentor and friend to the late Lisa Loring and the late Ken Weatherwax. His guidance and support were invaluable to them, shaping their careers and leaving a lasting impression on the entertainment industry. With his charismatic presence and wealth of wisdom, he continues to inspire generations of performers. His impact on both the arts and the lives of those he's touched is immeasurable, establishing him as a true icon. John Aston, known for his role as Gomez Adams in the classic TV series The Adams Family, had a notable stint on another popular show. In season two, he portrayed the Riddler in the Batman series. Aston's appearance alongside Carolyn Jones, who played Marcia, Queen of Diamonds, adds an interesting connection to the Adams Family. It's worth noting that Ted Cassidy, who portrayed Lurch in The Adams Family, also made a cameo in the Batman series. Cassidy's brief appearance happened in a storyline involving the Penguin, a character Marcia teamed up with in one of the show's three-part stories. This crossover between the Addams Family and Batman demonstrates the interconnectedness of classic television shows and the versatility of the actors involved. In a surprising and somber twist, John Aston, widely known for his roles in classic television shows, harbors a tragic trivia fact. Amidst his successful career, he faced personal sorrow with the unexpected death of his son, Matthew Aston, in 1972. This heartbreaking event cast a shadow over his life, revealing the poignant realities that even those in the public I endure private hardships. John Aston, recognized for his work in the entertainment industry, displayed resilience in continuing his career despite the profound loss. The strength he showed in the face of personal tragedy serves as a reminder of his dedication to acting. Navigating life's challenges, his journey extends beyond the screen, showcasing the resilience necessary to overcome personal adversities. His commitment to acting and ability to persevere through difficult times reflect his character. In conclusion, the poignant fact of his personal tragedy unveils a side of the actor not often seen on screen, shedding light on the profound effects of real-life challenges. One lesser-known fact about John Aston might surprise you despite his successful acting career, he experienced personal tragedy. His first wife, Suzanne Hahn, tragically passed away in a car accident. This event deeply affected him, but he persevered through his grief, continuing to pursue his passion for acting. 
Widely recognized for his role as Gomez Adams in the television series The Adams Family, he established himself as a skilled actor. His portrayal of Gomez showcased his comedic talent and helped make the show very popular. Beyond The Adams Family, his career included many different roles in movies, TV shows, and plays. Born in Baltimore, Maryland, he developed an early interest in acting and attended Johns Hopkins University, where he studied drama. He honed his skills on stage before moving on to television and movies. His ability to play different characters earned him praise in the entertainment industry. Apart from acting, he also taught drama, passing on his knowledge and love for acting to aspiring performers. He was a professor at Johns Hopkins University, where he had once been a student teaching valuable lessons to the next generation of actors. Throughout his career, he stayed devoted to his craft. He approached each role with professionalism and commitment, leaving a lasting impression on audiences and fellow actors alike. His work in entertainment is still remembered and valued today. In summary, while John Aston is best known for his role as Gomez Adams, his journey in the entertainment industry had its challenges, including personal tragedy. However, his talent, dedication, and teaching have made him a respected figure in acting. John Aston, recognized for his roles in various television shows and movies, has a heartbreaking and tragic trivia fact connected to his personal life. Despite achieving success in the entertainment industry, he faced the devastating loss of his son at a young age. This tragic event deeply affected him, underlining the profound sorrows that can touch even the lives of well-known figures in the entertainment world. Moving beyond the personal tragedies, his professional career stands out for its versatility. He gained widespread recognition for portraying Gomez Adams in the classic television series The Adams Family. His charismatic and quirky performance endeared him to audiences, making a significant impact on popular culture. Additionally, he showcased his acting skills in various other television shows and films, displaying a broad range in his roles. Aside from his acting career, Aston also ventured into teaching, sharing his knowledge and passion for the craft with aspiring actors. His dedication to mentoring future generations of performers reflects his commitment to the art form and his desire to inspire others. Throughout his career, his contributions to the entertainment industry have been significant and impactful, resonating with audiences across generations. Despite facing personal tragedies, he persevered, leaving behind a noteworthy impact that continues to be celebrated by fans and peers alike. John Aston, famous for playing Gomez Adams in the Adams Family TV show, faced a tough time when his son, Mackenzie Aston, got diagnosed with juvenile diabetes as a child. This news deeply saddened Aston and his family. Despite this challenge, he showed strong determination in supporting his son. He worked hard to raise awareness about diabetes and collect money for research and treatment. His journey through this difficult time reminds us that even famous people have tough moments in life. In his acting career, he played various roles, both funny and serious, captivating audiences worldwide. Despite his personal struggles, he remained dedicated to acting, leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment world. Widely known for his roles in various TV shows and movies, John Aston has a lesser-known story that might surprise many. Despite his successful acting career, he faced a deeply sorrowful incident in his personal life. During his early years, he endured the tragic loss of his son, Mackenzie Aston, to a heart condition. This heartbreaking event deeply affected him, showing how deeply sorrow can touch even famous people. In the aftermath of this devastating loss, he found comfort in the support of his close friends and family. Losing a loved one hurts everyone, no matter how famous they are. It's a sad reminder that even celebrities face tough times. As he continued acting, he poured his grief into his performances, using the emotions he felt to make his roles more authentic. People might not have known about his struggles, but his ability to show different emotions on screen reflected the strength he gained from going through hard times. This sad part of his life shows how complex life can be, even for famous people. Being famous might show off their talents and successes, but it doesn't stop them from facing tough times. It's a reminder that everyone, no matter how famous, can have hard times. By sharing his story, he reminds us to appreciate the time we have with loved ones. It's important to be kind and understanding because we never know what struggles someone might be facing. 
The deep effect of personal tragedies, like the loss he went through, is something many people can relate to. In conclusion, John Ashton's story goes beyond Hollywood glamour, showing the depth of human experience. His strength in hard times inspires many. Life's challenges affect everyone, and it's important to remember that. This is the untold story of a man who, despite hardships, continued to share his talent with the world. One lesser known fact about John Aston is that he tragically lost his son, Mackenzie Aston, to a drug overdose in 1996. The loss deeply affected him and his family, showing how harmful substance abuse can be. Despite this sad event, he kept going in his career, continuing to bring joy to audiences through his performances. He's best known for playing Gomez Adams in the Adams Family TV series. His portrayal of the quirky and lovable father figure made him popular worldwide. His acting added depth and humor to the character, making him memorable in TV history. Besides his role in The Addams Family, he's acted in various types of movies and shows, including comedy, drama, and horror. His ability to play different characters well left a lasting impression on audiences. In addition to acting, he's also been a teacher. He shared his knowledge and love for acting with students at different universities. His dedication to helping young actors shows how much he cares about the craft. Throughout his career, he's had a big impact on the entertainment industry. From his role as Gomez Adams to his work as a teacher, he's made a significant contribution. Despite facing personal tragedies, he remains dedicated to his work, inspiring audiences and aspiring actors alike. John Aston, the seasoned actor, carries a lesser known tragic event in his life. Amidst his successes in the entertainment world, a sorrowful event exists. In 1972, his first wife, Suzanne Hahn, tragically took her own life. This sad event cast a shadow on his personal life, revealing a side less known to the public. Born on March 30, 1930, in Baltimore, Maryland, he began his acting journey. Widely recognized for his role as Gomez Adams in the famous TV show The Adams Family, he left a strong impression on the entertainment industry. Beyond his professional achievements, he faced the deep sadness of losing his spouse to suicide. The aftermath of such a tragedy surely left a lasting impact on him, showing us that even those who bring joy to others may have their own struggles. Navigating through the complexities of grief, he continued to contribute to acting. His strength in the face of personal tragedy shows the human spirit's ability to carry on despite profound loss. In conclusion, his life, though marked by success and praise, also holds a sad personal chapter. This sad reality reminds us that behind the roles and characters lies a person with their own challenges, navigating the ups and downs of life. Renowned for his roles in various TV shows and movies, John Aston faced a heartbreaking event in his life when he lost his first wife, actress Suzanne Hahn, to a sudden heart attack. This unexpected tragedy left him deeply saddened, marking a sad time in his life. Despite the pain, he persevered, continuing his career and leaving a lasting impact on the entertainment industry. His strength and dedication shined through as he managed to overcome such personal hardship and keep pursuing his passion. Audiences worldwide love his work, which continues to inspire others to persist despite tough times. The resilience he demonstrated in the face of adversity is truly impressive and shows his character. John Aston's story reminds us all of the power of perseverance and the ability to find light even in the darkest moments. This narrative of resilience and determination deeply resonates with many, leaving a lasting impression on those who hear it. Here's a revised version. Did you know that despite taking on the famous role of Gomez Adams in The Adams Family, John Aston wasn't the original choice? He stepped in after another actor filmed the pilot episode. The show might have been quite different with the first actor, but Aston made the character his own. Throughout his career, he appeared in various films and TV shows showcasing his talent in comedy and drama. Besides acting, he also taught and directed, passing on his knowledge to others. Despite facing personal challenges, he persisted with determination. His ability to overcome obstacles shows his strength. John Aston had a significant impact on the entertainment industry. His performances continue to inspire and his influence lives on. John Aston, famous for his role as Gomez Adams in The Adams Family, has an unexpected tie to academia. Despite his Hollywood fame, he's also esteemed in the education world. In a sad twist, he was once wed to actress Patty Duke, but they split after a tough time. Less known is his time as a professor. 
After getting a master's in drama, he taught at different universities, including Johns Hopkins. This part of his life often surprises fans who only know him from his screen appearances. Despite success in showbiz, Aston faced personal struggles. His divorce from Duke and other challenges dimmed parts of his life. Yet he kept going, pursuing his acting career, and later finding happiness in his personal life. His journey reminds us that behind Hollywood's glitz, individuals often deal with personal hardships. Despite the hurdles, he stayed committed to his craft and made a big impact on both entertainment and academia. In a surprising turn of events, it's revealed that John Aston, known for his roles in TV shows like The Addams Family, faced a very sad time in his personal life. His first wife, actress Suzanne Hahn, sadly passed away when she was still young. This loss deeply affected him, changing how he saw life and influencing his future choices. Despite the heartache, he found comfort in acting, using his emotions in his performances. His determination and hard work helped him make a lasting impact in the entertainment world, which people still enjoy today. This shows his talent and persistence, proving that even when things are tough, you can still leave a big impression. John Aston, widely recognized for his role as Gomez Adams in the classic TV series The Adams Family, holds a surprising and saddening fact in his life. Despite his fame, he faced a difficult time when his son, Mackenzie Aston, struggled with mental health problems. Mackenzie's battles with bipolar disorder affected John Aston's life deeply, showing that even famous people have family challenges. Despite the tough times, he stayed devoted to supporting his son, showing a different side of his life beyond Hollywood's glamour. His strength in dealing with these challenges shows us the human side of a beloved actor, reminding us that fame doesn't protect against personal difficulties. Throughout it all, his dedication to his family remains a touching part of his journey. In the world of television and film, surprises often come in the form of casting choices. Take, for example, the actor John Aston, recognized for his roles in various shows and movies. He became widely known for playing Gomez Adams in the Adams Family series. Interestingly, he wasn't the first pick for the role. Originally, Jackie Coogan was set to portray Gomez, but due to a scheduling conflict, he had to step aside. Aston then took on the character, making it his own and leaving an indelible mark on audiences globally. This casting switch sheds light on the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry. Despite not being the initial choice, Aston's interpretation of Gomez became synonymous with the character. It makes you wonder how the show might have differed with another actor in the role. Such insights remind us of the unpredictable twists in the casting process and showcase Aston's skill in making a character unforgettable. He truly made Gomez Adams his own, showing the dynamic nature of casting in the entertainment world. John Aston, widely known for his roles in classic TV shows and films, has an interesting and somewhat somber trivia fact in his career. In a poignant turn of events, he was initially set to play Gomez Adams in the Adams Family series, but was replaced shortly before filming began. This unexpected change marked a crucial moment in his career as the role ultimately went to another actor. Despite this setback, he persevered and continued to make a name for himself in the entertainment industry with his unique talent and versatility. Throughout his career, he showcased an impressive ability to portray a diverse range of characters, highlighting his depth as an actor. His portrayal of quirky and eccentric roles endeared him to audiences, gaining him a dedicated following. Despite the disappointment of losing out on the role of Gomez Adams, he remained undeterred, pushing forward with his career and solidifying his status as a respected actor in both TV and film. Looking back, Aston's journey serves as a reminder of the unpredictable nature of the entertainment industry and the resilience required to navigate its challenges. While the role of Gomez Adams may have eluded him, his impact on the world of entertainment remains significant and lasting. His work continues to connect with audiences, showcasing his talent and dedication to his craft. John Aston, known for his remarkable acting career, has a lesser known but sad trivia tidbit. After portraying Gomez Adams in The Adams Family, he faced personal struggles. His wife, actress Patty Duke, battled mental health issues. Their marriage ended in divorce due to these challenges. Aston persisted through this tough time, showing resilience despite his personal sorrow Besides his personal challenges, his career has been diverse. He played various roles in movies, TV shows, and theater. His portrayal of Gomez Adams made him famous. He brought charm and quirkiness to the character, 
captivating audiences with his unique performance. Apart from the Adams Family, he had memorable roles in other projects. From comedy in The Frighteners to drama in West Side Story and Freaky Friday, he showed versatility across different types of roles. His ability to portray characters authentically made him a respected actor. Overall, John Aston's story shows resilience in the face of personal difficulties. Despite his struggles, he remained dedicated to his work, leaving a lasting impact on entertainment. John Aston, best known for his role as Gomez Adams in The Adams Family, faced a heartbreaking event in his life. His son, Matthew Aston, died young, which deeply affected him and cast a shadow on his successful career. Despite this personal tragedy, he became famous for playing the quirky head of the Adams family. This role stood out in his career, showing his talent in bringing unique characters to life. Apart from the Adams family, he took on a variety of roles in movies and TV shows, moving easily between comedy and drama. This flexibility made him a well-respected actor in the industry. Aston also shared his love for acting with students as a theater arts teacher at Johns Hopkins University. He was dedicated to helping future actors grow, showing his commitment to the art and to teaching others. In summary, John Aston's life was marked by both his successful acting career and the sad loss of his son. Despite this, he continued to make a significant mark in the entertainment world, leaving behind a memorable body of work.